You know, electric vehicles are growing in popularity. For the most part, they operate without any problems. But earlier this week, mm -hmm. we had a case that we showed you an example of the batteries in EVs that can pose potential hazards. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us what happened. On arrival, we found the vehicle smoking and off gassing. Most of the time, car fires are pretty routine calls for the Franklin Fire Department, but not when they were called out this week to Nissan's headquarters. We immediately started applying water to that fire and we're trying to cool it down, but the fire wouldn't go out. That's because inside this Nissan Leaf was a lithium ion battery. Any of the lithium ion technology basically generates its own energy. And because it's so sealed up and protected, if it were to catch on fire or malfunction, it's not like we can get right to it and put water on it and have it go out. Franklin's fire marshal says that phenomenon is called thermal runaway, which means despite 45,000 gallons of water sprayed onto the car, the battery, known for storing lots of energy, kept burning for three hours and remained hot for hours after that. Your only option you're really left with is to let it burn and then move it after it's done. The situation here at Nissan North America was certainly scary, but it's not an isolated situation. In fact, if you search online, there have been situations all across the country involving fires and lithium ion batteries. Everybody out. From this residential garage catching fire in Virginia. Our members responded quickly. To a New York e-bike repair shop where four people were killed. It's great technology, it's lightweight and carries a lot of charge, but when it burns, or, or becomes in that self runaway reaction, it's really problematic for the responders. Which is why Andy King wants anyone that owns an EV to take extra precautions. If you notice that it's malfunctioning, I think the key is not to go back and plug it in three or four times and just see if it's something wrong. It's really to stop charging it. And then if you're charging that inside of your residential garage, it's go ahead and move it outside and away from things. He feels like this time they got lucky it happened in a parking lot. The next time, it could be much worse. There doesn't appear to be a silver bullet here for solving this problem because of just the inherent challenges with lithium ion. In Franklin, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Malfunctioning lithium ion batteries can also emit toxic gases. So if you see or smell anything that doesn't seem right, you should call immediately to 911.